you are looking at a style F or vibrator movement made by the self-winding clock company of New York. This particular movement is a 120 beat version. These movements were made for 60, 80, 120, and 140 beat clocks. They are essentially all the same. In the 60, 80, and 120 beat versions, the only differences are in the scape wheel and the verge. The 140 beat variation differs from the 120 beat version for it has a different third wheel and a scape wheel pinion. All the other components are interchangeable. F movements have deadbeat escapements and are pendulum regulated. All self-winding clock companies movements have serial numbers stamped on the front plates. The topic of serial numbers is for another day. This is a style F movement with the front plate removed. It is mechanically quite similar to a spring-driven single train movement. There's an escape wheel, a third wheel, and a center wheel. Here the main spring behind the center wheel is on the center shaft. The ratchet wheel winds the main spring. The truly unique feature of these self-winding clock company movements is the small electric motor that is mounted between the plates. The motor automatically rewinds the mainspring each hour. The motor is turned on by a contact switch mounted on the clock's center shaft. The motor automatically goes off after the mainspring is rewound one revolution. The motor coils energize an armature that vibrates up and down turning the ratchet wheel that winds the mainspring. It takes from 10 to 20 seconds to rewind the mainspring. The motor runs on 3 volts DC. Two D-cell batteries will run these clocks for about one year. These movements, as the company name implies, are self-winding. No need for anyone to be responsible for regularly winding these clocks. Many of these clocks with F movements were part of synchronized time systems. I'm going to show three examples of F movements with different electrical components added to the movements. None of these auxiliaries require alteration of the basic F movement. These make the movements appear much more complicated, but underneath, the timekeeping parts are all the same. Many of these clocks were part of Western Union time service. This is a Western Union rental clock that is equipped with a synchronizer on the right and a signal light below. The clock receives an hourly synchronizing signal from a master clock via a Western Union telegraph line. The electrical pulse activates the synchronizer arm, causing the light to illuminate. The light confirms that the synchronizing signal was received, and if the clock is not absolutely correct, the hands will be moved precisely to the hour. This is a master clock F movement that not only has a synchronizer with a signal light, but also a contact on the left that sends an hourly correction signal to other clocks. This master clock not only received a correction signal to make sure it was absolutely accurate, but also sends an hourly synchronizing signal to other clocks to make sure they are absolutely accurate. Underneath all this electrical stuff is a simple F movement. This is a master clock with a single contact to advance slave clocks every 30 seconds. It's easier to recognize this F movement. Other clocks with F movements could have contacts to send electrical pulses every minute, every six minutes, and some even hourly. And again, under all this electrical wizardry, Everyone is the same. Granted, the additional electrical parts can be intimidating, but the timekeeping components are very straightforward and remarkably reliable. It is common to find F movements that have had some or even all of the auxiliary electrical components removed. With or without, you still have a very good and accurate timepiece. Let me close with a little history of the remarkably reliable, durable, style F or vibrator movement. The basic design remained the same for over 60 years. These movements first appeared in self-winding clocks about 1898 and were used exclusively in all pendulum clocks 
they made through the 1960s when the self-winding clock company went out of business. Thank you for watching, and if you appreciated this video, please give it a thumbs up.